Hey everyone, Alex Roy, your trusted John L. Scott Realtor, coming to you from Southeast Portland at 933 Southeast 34th Ave. This fantastic craftsman is a fixer ready for you. So attention DIYers, developers, builders, house flippers, this is one you want to check out. Okay, I got a bit of a lengthy video for you, so I'm going to start with giving you some basic house facts, talk about the property, the zoning, the neighborhood, and then we're going to do a real quick walk through the property. Want to remind you that at any time you can click down in the description, uh, I've got a link to the 3D virtual tour. You can do a virtual tour walk through the house and link to floor plans so you can check it out in detail from the comfort of your own home. All right, now first of all, first thing to tell you about the place, it is built in 1902. 3,556 square feet total. So this has lots of space inside. Uh, it right now has a total of eight rooms, which you're gonna see when we get inside. Some of those, it's been Frankenstein, chopped up a little bit. And really, I would say it has five true rooms. Three true bedrooms upstairs. The upstairs being 959 square feet. And then at least two true bedrooms downstairs on the main level. That level has a total of 1,503 uh, square feet, 1,503. And then the basement, wide open. You've got a uh, decent height on the ceiling and that whole basement with an external entrance, 1,094 square feet. Lots going on there. The lot, the lot's a great size. Not a full size lot, but very close. 4,089 square feet, and that's 70.5 uh, feet by 58 feet wide. And it being a corner lot, there is a lot of development opportunities with that configuration. And then when it comes to the area, we are just one block from Belmont Street, right close to all the hip shops, bars, restaurants that are in the little Belmont commercial strip, uh, right between 33rd and 35th. And uh, you know, you're just a stone's throw away from Laurelhurst Park, and then just south of it, the whole Hawthorne commercial strip, Fred Meyer grocery store, H Mart just a block and a half away, and you're only seven minutes drive from the downtown. As for zoning, this is perfect for development and rehab opportunities. It's an R2.5. And with Portland's new residential infill plan uh, rules coming into effect on August 1st of this year, 2021, there are a lot more options. I'm not gonna go over all the different uh, benefits that there are to the RIP, but you can check that out by clicking on the link in the description or going to this link below at portlandmaps.com. All right, let's check out the inside. All right, so when you come inside, stepping onto tile, and I think right now, originally, this would have been a wraparound porch, and this is where the original door was. And you can see, in here you walk into a formal hallway with a great stairwell that goes upstairs, nice wide stairs. You still have throughout the majority of the main floor and the upstairs these original fur floors. To the right of the entrance, let's just go over here real quick. This would have been more of that uh, wraparound porch or the front of the house. It's been carved up into a bedroom with a small half bath right here. And let's just walk right through that. No line, it's rough, it's a fixer. All the surfaces need to be touched. But check out how high these ceilings are. Like I'm a tall guy, that's, that's a good height of a ceiling. I think, just off the top of my head, I think that was nine foot six inches. Very good high ceiling all throughout this house. This I don't think was a room originally. I think this would have been part of the front living room and this wall may have been opened up. I'm just speculating this just me shooting from the hip. Same thing when you come back out into the hallway here, you cross over here. I think we're stepping out onto once again what was the original uh, wraparound porch, which would be lovely if this was opened up again, overlooking the yard and uh, the school playground for Sunny Scott, uh, Sunnyside Elementary and Middle School across the street. You tell these rooms have lower ceilings, it's another uh, clue that's making me think this was a wraparound porch. All right, let's check out the rest of the main floor. The hallway leads you back here to a very open 
whether this was dining room or living room, it's a good sized space. And at one point, they put in sliding doors that go to a small covered deck area just off the side of the house. You can see there's a fence right there for a divider in the property. And then off of this, a full size bathroom. A little bit of an odd spot for a full size bathroom in the house, but of course, if you're taking this down to the, the studs and remodeling it, you uh, can certainly do a lot of different things with it. Relocate that back. Another bedroom right off that. Pretty basic bedroom. And one more right off the kitchen. And here we walk into the kitchen, which has a lot of great kitchen space. Like there's a lot of space back here. It's a large house. Probably not the best configuration for a kitchen right now, but you can do so much for, with it. First of all, right here is the old, all the brickwork, the chimney stack, that if this house was being totally remodeled and uh, flipped, that could be taken out, opening up a lot more space right there. This could be opened up through the dining room. All possibilities, once again, I'm not a contractor. I don't know exactly where the little pair of beans are, just thinking off the top of my head. And then through here, a small back porch, with an external back entrance. And as you can see, we're pretty much at the back of the property line. Not much of a setback between us and the next house there, but uh, the house really makes great use of this uh, 4,100 square foot lot. All right, let's check out the upstairs. And the high ceilings continue upstairs here. They're not as high as uh, downstairs, they're a little under nine feet, but still high ceilings for a second floor. You still have the fur floors, and here's where I think you find the three true bedrooms. First of all, right behind us here, let's swing around. Check out this great bedroom, I love it. Has a nice little closet area, and then doors that open onto this balcony that I believe it was open when it was originally built. Been closed in since. Could be opened up again, or could be just a wonderful office off of the master bedroom. And that's east facing, so you're getting that wonderful morning light coming into this room. All the ship lap uh, on the interior here. A decent sized room on this side with a fairly deep, not decent, decent sized closet on this one as well. Good ceiling height, good room size. But the largest one is this room right over here. This is definitely the largest bedroom. You can see from the wall, still all the original lath and plaster. And then this one has a fairly large closet. It, it's uh, both this area and a small walk-in closet. I've seen the piping there. That very well could have been a water closet uh, when it was originally built. It could be a small half bathroom off of the master bedroom. Just on the other side of that wall with the piping is the upstairs bathroom, which is not terribly small. It's a good size. It's had a little bit of remodeling work done to it, but <laughs> still definitely needs to be touched. Needs a lot of work. You do have a uh, cool cloth-foot bathtub that comes with it. All right, let's check out the basement. Quick shot of that. Basement is right through here. Lots of fun graffiti down here. <laughs> the walls are ready for a painting, but you have a lot of space in this basement. I think that's the main thing to take away. And remember, you can check this all out again at your leisure by clicking on the link in the description to uh, see the 3D virtual tour. The house does have working hot water tank, working um, natural gas forced air furnace. 
the uh, condensate pump is broken and so that the water that you're seeing on the floor there is just the condensate from the furnace. But all of that working, uh, roof is not leaking, foundation is in good condition. This is definitely a, uh, a very good chance that it's a financeable home with conventional loan. So don't miss your chance to check out this very cool craftsman and great development opportunity. Uh, if you have any questions about it, just give me a call, text, or email. All my contact information is in the description of this video below. And definitely check out those links to the 3D uh, virtual tour and the uh, PDF of the floor plans. I'm Alex Roy, trusted realtor in Eastside Portland, working hard for your success.